Welcome to day one of shooting the short film Say Grace. So here we are in Sassello uh, in Italy, in the northern part of Italy, and I'm here with the guys from uh, My Drone Pro. Hello guys. Hey, hey, hey. So we started out the day um, shooting uh, GVs of the uh, beautiful town here. As you can see, it is snowing, uh, <laughs> or has been snowing, and uh, to be honest, the snow wasn't what I was particularly expecting when we were visioning the shoot, but hey, it makes everything look pretty and beautiful. So, and I mean, if you look around, it's all very, very picturesque and very, very lovely. So we're having to embrace uh, that. Kind of tricky because uh, some scenes were kind of supposed to be a bit summery. So the costumes, I think, that have been designed as kind of a summery look. But, um, well, we'll see what we can get away with. We shot some really cool stuff of our church kind of revolving around the, uh, the church tower. And, uh, and the bells and the spire. Um, basically the idea that the, the church is the center, the heart of the community, community which is um, important for the film. The guys are using the, um, correct me if I'm wrong, the DGI Inspire 2. Correct. Got some nods. Um, and they got some, some beautiful interchangeable lenses as well, which is really interesting. And the trip for me for drones is try not to be so whizzy and bangy and and you know fly it around just because you can because i feel like then it looks like a drone shot you almost need to treat them like the sort of restriction a helicopter would have and then it feels more cinematic the directorial perspective for me for the drone is is almost god's point of view so we're going to shoot lots of these very straight top-down shots um, of, of all the scenes, especially of the car driving later on, which we're doing this afternoon, um, just to give it the idea that, that, that there's a higher power watching these characters. Um, and also it's kind of beautifully graphic um, as well. So, uh, so yeah, so it should be really cool. So better do some work. Okay, we're standing right to film you on the way back, so yeah, give us a shout. Yeah, go for the others. Just let, let, yeah, keep going. Let them go out of frame. Oh, let them go. Yeah. Eh, noi l'abbiamo raddrizzato. So the afternoon of day one, um, this is basically where we shoot all the tracking vehicle stuff. So we um, have a camera car that's following in front of the car and uh, getting wide in the close-up of the uh, action, the scene. This scene is all about escape. You know, these characters um, are from uh, a very close-knit town, so they can't really be themselves. So this is the kind of first time they've jumped in the car and drove into the mountains and they, they're sort of free to be themselves, to express themselves, and also to kind of have a little flirt, a, a blossom of love between them along the way. Um, so we shot it with uh, a tracking vehicle, um, which uh, is, you know, a low budget tracking vehicle, but uh, works very well. It's uh, a pickup truck with um, a camera on the back of it. Oh look, the car's back. Yeah, go, yeah, 30 might be quite nice. This is all quite dreamlike. I'll give you a photo as, as well, as R3D. Right. You're saying if you run the whole scene at the start of the fight, I'm free to yeah. hand on the knee, yeah. a few seconds, and then just start shooting yes. again. Okay, okay. Just doing a loop. Yeah. It's easier than me. Touring district. And we've also been shooting some stuff with Dave Meadows in the back of the car. Hello. Hi. Look how comfortable Dave is. is Look at the room that's involved in the bag of here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so he's, uh, how was that? Really, really good. Is it good? Yeah, really good. So yeah, so we've done some shots with uh, our DP Dave Meadows in the back of the car. They're quite tricky because we're on anamorphics and because of minimum focus, you know, he's very, very close to the actors, but he, he just managed it. I'm really playing with this idea of blurring the lines between um, reality and, and dreams and memory and, and trying to give it 
a slightly dreamlike feel to the memories. So um, I've come up with some quite cool transitions, which I hope work. We'll see in the edit, but um, some exposure pull, some playing with wind um, as a way of cutting between the two, uh, match cutting between hands and fingers from one location to the other. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see they work in the uh, final bit of the film. And also we shot some drone stuff here as well for our top down um, view. So um, we're just going to set up now for a bit of a dialogue scene kind of improvised scene that we're adding in um, to the film. Um, yes, here we go. 